Welcome everyone to Every Territorial Anomaly in Africa, the first episode of this series on territorial disputes in the world explained. I know this isn't the usual content on this channel, but I love territorial anomalies. This is basically an adaptation of the Wikipedia article titled List of Territorial Disputes, but of course I'll add more detail wherever I can and some fun facts sprinkled in. Every source is listed in the description, and I wanna give huge credit to Sovereign Limits. I couldn't have been able to explain some of these if I hadn't found this site. So let's begin with the arguably most complex continent, Africa. I'll only mention disputes between UN members slash observer states, and sorry in advance for the mispronunciations. Let's kick off Africa with something you might have heard of and is really complex. So, Abye, Heglig, Joda, Kafia, Kingi and Kaka are disputed areas slash towns between Sudan and South Sudan. Basically, according to the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in 2005, which would split up Sudan and South Sudan, Abye was to hold a referendum for which Sudan they want to be a part of, but that has been postponed since 2011, because Sudan tried to take it by force and stuff. The other four regions I mentioned were fought over because of oil and minerals they have. Bank du Geyser is a mostly submerged reef above Madagascar claimed by Madagascar, Comoros and France. France says they have an exclusive economic zone over it because it's part of their EEZ of their Glorioso Islands, which are some random islands that France has. Madagascar has announced the annexation of Bank du Geyser in 1976, but it is controlled by France today. Basasda, India is an uninhabited atoll, and Europa Island and Juan de Nova Island are islands disputed between France and Madagascar. France claims these to be part of their EEZ and sent a 14 soldier strong garrison to Juan de Nova Island to respond to Madagascar claiming these areas. Ceuta and Melilla are decently sized cities, the Aluchemas Islands and the Chafarinas Islands are islands, and Peñón de Vélez de la Gomera is a peninsula held by Spain left over from their colonial territories claimed by Morocco. These are also called plazas de soberanía, or places of sovereignty. Morocco claims these places by basically saying that Spain has no business existing in Africa, comparing them to Gibraltar, which I'll talk about later, and their Prime Minister said in 2020, Ceuta and Melilla are as Moroccan as the Sahara, which I'll also talk about later, which enraged Spain who punished them severely. I mean, summoned the Moroccan ambassador and told him to respect Spain as it is. Also, presumably Spain doesn't want to give them up because then Catalonia would have a slightly stronger claim for secession. Fun fact, the border between Spain and Morocco on Peñón de Vélez de la Gomera is about 80 meters long, which makes it one of, if not the shortest international border in the world. Less fun fact, these places aren't under NATO protection, because that only extends to Europe and North America, and since these are in North Africa, they aren't covered by NATO protection. The Chagos Archipelago is a group of atolls disputed between the UK, Mauritius, the Seychelles and the Maldives, but is controlled by the UK. Mauritius demanded displaced people to be repatriated and for the archipelago to fall under Mauritian sovereignty, which the UK denied in 2016 and was subsequently taken to the International Court of Justice. Ras du Meira is a cape, and the du Meira Islands are islands disputed between Eritrea and Djibouti. Djibouti accused Eritrea of shelling the islands in 1996, and they almost went to war over them. The Glorioso Islands are islands claimed by Madagascar, Comoros, and is controlled by France. I already talked about it in the Bank du Geyser chapter. 
The Halaib Triangle is a roughly triangle-shaped area claimed by Egypt and Sudan. So basically both were British colonies at some point, and the UK drew a political boundary in 1899, which runs along the 22nd parallel, and an administrative boundary in 1902, which isn't as straight. When the countries became independent, both claimed the border to be the boundary that gave them the Halaib Triangle. Today it is held by Egypt, who is investing in the area and refuses to enter into negotiations for who it should belong to. Fun fact, because of opposing boundary claims, technically this upside-down trapezoid-shaped piece of land called Birtaville is unclaimed, so technically anyone could go there and claim it, but since nobody lives there and nothing is there, it would be a pretty stupid idea. However, an American guy called Jeremiah Heaton did do that in 2014 because his daughter wanted to be a real princess, so he declared the Kingdom of North Sudan, which even has a website, kingdomsudan.org, and has applied for UN observer status. Now that's dedication. The Ilemi Triangle is a roughly triangle-shaped area disputed between Kenya and South Sudan because of more British-drawn lines and oil found in the area. The oil and Kenya drawing maps of their territory including the Ilemi Triangle and also the Sudanese Civil War have delayed the resolution of this dispute. It is controlled by Kenya, but Ethiopia staged some skirmishes, but haven't made any claim, agreeing that it was Sudanese in multiple treaties. Ka Nguwane is a former Bantustan and Ingwavuma is a city in South Africa claimed by Eswatini because of the many Swazi living in the area. Ingwavuma was planned to be transferred to Eswatini, then Swaziland, but the Zulu king didn't like it, so it wasn't. Kualu is a village, part of a 68 square kilometer, about 26 and a quarter square mile zone, which also includes the villages Niogo 1 and Niogo 2, disputed between Burkina Faso and Benin. The two countries' leaders talked it out in 2008 and declared this zone a neutral zone to avert a war, which is what most other African territorial disputes end up causing, sadly. Peaba is a village near the border of Ivory Coast, also called Côte d'Ivoire, with Guinea. The two countries agreed to withdraw their forces in 2013. The area near Logoba slash Moyo district is an area disputed between Uganda and South Sudan because of more British drawn lines. A conflict was triggered in 2014 when some Ugandan officials were detained by South Sudanese authorities. Chiengi is a colonial boma slash district and Lunchinda Pueto province is a province disputed between the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Zambia. Chiengi was merged into Zambia's Nchelenge district in the 1970s after Zambia gained its independence from the UK in 1964 and was upgraded to a full administrative district in the 1990s. The region was also affected by wars, most recently the Second Congo War between 1998 and 2003. The area near Pveto, a small village, is disputed due to different interpretations of the Anglo-Belgian Treaty of 1894, which carved up the Congo area to colonize. At least I assume so. I wanted to read it, but I sure ain't paying $51 for a 129-year-old treaty. Mayotte is an island near Madagascar currently administered by France, but claimed by Comoros. The UN General Assembly adopted Resolution 46-9 to reaffirm Comorian sovereignty over Mayotte. Yes, I read it. But since UN resolutions aren't legally binding, France wasn't obliged to do anything. Islands in Mbamba Bay are islands and Lake Malawi is a lake disputed between Malawi and Tanzania. 
Malawi claims the entirety of Lake Malawi that isn't in Mozambique is in Malawi, whereas Tanzania claims that Malawi should only have half of the lake. It's kinda difficult to explain with words, but it'll be clear on the map. Also, Malawi claims the islands in Mbamba Bay. Both countries signed the Heligoland Zanzibar Treaty between the UK and the German Empire, so it's another case of old ass treaty misinterpretation. Mbanye, Cocotiers and Congas are islands disputed between Gabon and Equatorial Guinea. Nobody really cared about these islands, but after Spain released Equatorial Guinea, someone claimed that the islands have oil. Gabon militarily occupied Mbanye, which Equatorial Guinea considered an invasion. In 2004 they agreed to jointly look for oil, and in 2011 they agreed to take the matter to The Hague's court and accept the verdict. This was reaffirmed in 2016 and 2017 at the UN. Everything I said about these islands came from the Spanish Wikipedia article Conflicto Territorial section Google Translated, so take it with a grain of salt. Also, to my knowledge, no UN resolution or anything else really has been decided about this since. Several islands in the Congo River are disputed between the Republic of the Congo and the Democratic Republic of the Congo because the border hasn't been clearly defined. Several islands in the Antem River are disputed between Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea, similarly to the last one. The border was never clearly defined, so the border should be viewed as a de jure border. Several villages near the Okpara River are disputed between Benin and Nigeria, similarly to the last two, because the border was never clearly defined. Rufunzo Valley is a valley I wasn't able to find any pictures about, and Sabanerva is a white cone-shaped hill disputed between Rwanda and Burundi. The dispute is a result of the river Kanyaru changing course and flowing around Sabanerva, and since the river is the border between the two countries, it's not decided who Sabanerva belongs to. Rukwanzi Island is an island and the Samliki River Valley is a valley disputed between the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Uganda. The river is the border between the two, but the island isn't clear which country it's in. In 2007, the DRC apprehended four Ugandan soldiers it said had crossed the border. A skirmish ensued, which resulted in two people killed and the Congolese occupation of the island. Sindabesi Island is an island disputed between Zambia and Zimbabwe. In 1994, Zambia started using Sindabesi Island, 50 meters from Zimbabwe's shore, for tourism, and then Zimbabwe claimed the island for themselves, saying the border ran along the middle of the river. Socotra is an archipelago disputed between Yemen and... Nobody else. Somalia doesn't claim the archipelago, but has asked the UN to look into if they're allowed to claim it. At least this Somalian website says so, that Wikipedia cites, and that looks like it's stuck in 2006. In 2018, because of the Yemeni civil war, forces from the United Arab Emirates took control of, of Socotra for strategic reasons, and Saudi Arabian troops were also deployed there. They have since returned it to Yemen, however in 2020, the Southern Transitional Council, a Yemeni secessionist organization, took control of the island. They still control Socotra and the Yemeni civil war is still yet to reach a conclusion, unfortunately. Tromalin Island is an island disputed between France and Mauritius. This is the fifth and final dispute that France has in Africa. The two countries agreed to set a condominium over the island, so it's technically part of both countries, but it's administered by France. Mauritius says they should have the island, because when Napoleonic France was defeated in 1814, it was restored to their 1792 borders, although a French ship had already discovered the island in 1776. 
Also, there's a meteorological station on the island and it has an EEZ of 280,000 square kilometers, overlapping with that of Réunion, another French territory nearby. Wadi Halfa is a salient, an elongated piece of projection of a geopolitical entity disputed between Egypt and Sudan. As with the Halaib Triangle, Egypt claims one line the British drew and Sudan claims the other. <sighs> what have I signed up for? Alright, let's do this. Western Sahara is part of the Sahara Desert, disputed between Morocco and the partially recognized um, entity known as the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic slash Polisario Front. The area was partitioned between Morocco and Mauritania, however Polisario guerrilla fighters showed up, then Mauritania gave up claims and Morocco moved in to occupy the territory. The SADR controls this side of the border wall that I assume Mauritania used to occupy. The area is filled with landmines, but despite this, nomads still live there. Aside from Polisario forces, UN forces are also present. About a few thousand Polisario forces operate in the area, but that's just speculation, and since they signed a ceasefire with Morocco, some of them could have demobilized. And finally, Oued Turndo is something in Algeria disputed with Libya. Libya claims some of Algeria's desert. That's about all the information I was able to find. I'm as confused as you are. A Wikipedia article for Oued Turndo was only available in Cebuano, a language I've never heard about before, and that didn't have anything about this dispute either. Kind of bummer to end on such a dispute. And those are all the territorial anomalies in Africa, more or less explained. As I said in the beginning, all sources are in the description. Stay tuned for the next episode, where I'm gonna explain all territorial anomalies in the Americas and Antarctica. If you found this video entertaining, I'd really appreciate a like and a sub. I worked really hard on this video. So, until the next video, see ya!